De regreso aquí en Auto 060 en esta edición especial desde Brasil con el grupo Volkswagen, eh, Volkswagen de Brasil, la fundación Volkswagen y la entrevista que tuvimos con Pelé ahí en el estadio de Santos en la ciudad donde empezó a jugar, donde empezó la leyenda de Pelé. Así que continuamos con los comentarios de Pelé sobre Brasil, sobre el mundial, sobre la historia. This morning we were at a favela and a little kid playing in the street with no shoes and like a lot of skill. What's it in Brazil that's produced that many quality players? Yeah, I come from that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I come from Bauru, in Bauru, a small, small town. We used to play them, uh, with the barefoot, you know, in a small, you know, large space. That we come from. I think that's the reason Brazil has a, a, a facility to create players, to always have a good player, uh, because so we have this facility. Who is the best player for you in the world right now? Um, Good question. <laughs> It's difficult to say because, you, you, for example, I like, I'm going to say the two best players. Ronaldo, no doubt, and Messi. Because I saw very, very, you no, know, two years ago, you no, know, and Messi. But, uh, for example, Messi, when he played in, 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 in Barcelona, is a one play. He played very good because he not play. When he played the national team of Argentina, he's a different player. He plays, he go, uh, the same. 
But uh, but I think he is the one of the best. What about Neymar? When is he going to be the best of the world? Neymar, you know, unfortunately, he you know went to Barcelona. He's from 19, from 30 born here. <laughs> but the other side, I think for him, was fantastic. It was very good. He has the opportunity to play in Europe. And for him and for Brazil, because uh, this is nine months, one year he played in Europe, he got more experience, you know, he played on a different level. And then for Brazil, for the national team, it was very good. But I don't think so. His first World Cup, I don't think he could uh, put all the responsibility on him to win the World Cup. Because everybody says, oh, Neymar is going to win the World Cup, or Neymar, but I think it's too heavy for him. It's a too, too big a responsibility. Listen, uh, I think for the first time in the history, Brazil has a better midfield back. The defensive system is better organized than that. Brazil always lost, you know, the team who play with the best players in that you know, Always. This is the first time Felipe, Felipe, <laughs> He has a problem to set up the, the attack. We have an excellent midfield back. Was excellent, I think. Is is one of the best team from the midfield back. But we have a problem until now. We don't know exactly. If I ask to the Brazilian, but then nobody knows the the, 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 the the players who play forward, the right wing or the the, you know, the center forward or the midfield to to prepare. Just say Neymar, we talk about Neymar, but we don't know how to beat the, the, the attack. What do you think? This is the first time in the Brazilian history. How is soccer or football different today than when you were playing? Uh, I think uh, <laughs> there's a good question. <laughs> uh, I think the medium and the, the, the visibility today you know, make the football more. Uh, more precise, more, uh, let's say, important, more difficult than my time. Because uh, we used to say, in my time, you know, we, we have to, to travel all over the Europe. Santos used to play, you know, five games in Europe, five games in South America. Then one month, two months, the people say, oh, Santos play now. You no, know, everything is in the right time, you see, you know, the money is different, money, then it's the big, it's the big difference. The, the only thing who I think uh, we could not uh, charge is the good player, the bad player. <laughs> then the good player is the good player, the bad player, the good player, it doesn't matter if people know exactly the moment or not, but uh, it's a big difference. What do you think about the selection? I like. I saw some games last year. I mentioned already. I mentioned already. The, the, the German team is a very organized team. They have a different way to play. Got more more control. I think one of the best teams today in Europe, no doubt, is the German team. <laughs> Bueno, eso ha sido todo para la edición de esta semana de Autos 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Les recomiendo que vayan al canal de YouTube Autos Javier Mota para que vean el resto de las declaraciones que hizo Pelé durante la visita que realizamos a Santos con el grupo Volkswagen. Y además otras actividades que estuvimos allá, fuimos a visitar, como escucharon en el primer segmento, el Instituto Bacarelli, una de las obras de responsabilidad social que hace Volkswagen en Brasil, también una favela donde apoya el desarrollo del fútbol, además de la visita que hicimos al Estadio Maracaná, donde se jugará la final del Mundial 2014 y para que Brasil juegue un partido en ese estadio tiene que llegar a la final, así que gran expectativa en Brasil por el Mundial 2014 agradecemos a los departamentos de relaciones públicas de Volkswagen en Norteamérica, en Brasil y en Alemania por darnos esta oportunidad de compartir la experiencia de Volkswagen eh, ju justo antes del Mundial 2014 yo soy Javier Mota y los espero en una edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.